we're going to do our GMA health alert right now. It's the battle over coconut oil. A Harvard professor recently calling the popular go-to poison in a video that quickly went viral with over a million views and counting. Others are swearing by it, even praising it as a superfood. While well, our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here now to break Woo! down all the concerns. Lara. Juicy story, and as you know, I also have a degree in nutrition. Here's what people did not hear when they heard about this story this week. You cannot take any nutritional science study and break it down conclusively to attributing one health outcome to one food. It's, it's just not there yet, and the methodology in most nutritional science studies does not show cause and effect. It just shows association. So this is a perfect example how we need to take this down the middle. It's not a superfood and it's not a poison. I love that. The voice of reason because the word poison is very, very scary. We want to do a little myth busting now with our audience. Thank you guys for helping us out. We want you to tell us if you think the following statement is true or false. The fat in oils and food is the main cause of raising our LDL or bad cholesterol audience. What true do you or think? False. True or false? The main cause. Is it the main cause of bad cholesterol? Oils and fat in... in Okay, so, so the, the, this is actually kind of a trick question. It's probably false, and there is controversial data about this because, first of all, our LDL or bad cholesterol is partially dictated by our genetics. It's partially made internally. People can have no fat in their diet and still have high cholesterol. So does it play a role? Yes. But is it the entire picture? Absolutely. Same not. story that you're saying about coconut oil in, coconut oil in general. All right, let's do one more. Okay. People live longer, ready, is this true or false? People live longer in cultures that consume a lot of coconut oil, making it a superfood. True or false, audience? Split. Our audience is pretty smart, so this is false. People in cultures where they eat a lot of coconut oil may have great longevity. That is not the same thing as attributing it purely to this. So again, you think of it on the same spectrum as butter, lard, it is a saturated fat, and in moderation, fine. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, as always, thank you, and audience, thank you. Big help. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.